Uh, so, uh, Rishab, uh, can you please introduce yourself in detail so that students may know regarding yourself, your strategy and all that, then we'll discuss about that uh, later. So, hi guys, uh, I'm Rishab, I'm from Lucknow and currently I'm serving as an executive engineer in Central PWD Meghalaya. So, I'm a civil engineer and currently I'm looking after border infrastructure works along the Indo-Bangladesh border. That's great. And uh, Rishab, can you please tell us how did you know uh, regarding verbal hub education? How did you know about verbal hub and, and all that? So actually, prior to joining verbal hub, I failed actually two times. So then I started okay. searching for a coaching over the web. So okay, what I was looking for, I uh, I was looking for uh, any, you know, for some guidance. I mean, some sort of coaching who can provide me online guidance. So that okay. I can join it and, you know, I wanted that coaching to be flexible. I mean, the way you guys sort of, you recorded lectures and then you shared it with me. So I was searching for that sort of thing actually. So okay. that's when I came across Verbal Hub over the Google. Okay. And, <laughs> okay. As I remember that you are from morning batch, right? Sometimes you join as a, like in morning batch, right? And, yeah, uh, yeah, I used to learn. Yeah, okay, so Rishab, can you please uh, tell us uh, whenever you miss the session, when you miss the session, miss karte the, and uh, how did you got like, how did you complete these topics, these sessions and all that, your doubts as well? So how did you do it? See, most of the time, actually, there are some issues with the internet connectivity here. So what I used to do, I mean, Yoga, he used to share the link with me over my email. And okay. during the evening, I used to access the link over the email and then I used to go through that topic and uh, okay. related to that topic. And uh, then I used to, uh, you know, practice all the questions which are related to that particular topic. So you, it really helped. That's quite good. And uh, one more thing, uh, Rishab, can you please tell us regarding, right, what was your strategy, right? Regarding, if we discuss first a strategy for quant, and then we will go further later for section. What was your strategy yeah. for quant? As you have told me that it was worth like uh, you have already given like GMAT two times. So yeah. did you find this time any strategy different or your strategy a little bit? Actually, some background first. I mean, prior to joining Verbal Hub, I actually failed two times or I didn't okay. score quite good what I was expecting above 700. Okay. So what worked for me was like, I stick to your plans. I mean, whatever you guys suggested, I followed it. And okay. uh, usually I found that the course material which you guys shared over uh, the email, I mean, it was more than enough for me. Okay. So what I did was like, uh, whatever you taught in the quant class during the day, I used to come home, I used to practice that. Okay. And I used to practice maybe 30, 40 questions every day. So what okay. worked for me that, was the consistency. Okay, that, that was a consistency. Was okay, yeah. okay. So uh, how did you manage your job along with your studies? इसके बारे में थोड़े बहुत बताइए आपने कैसे job और studies कैसे manage किया आपने साथ साथ ही? Actually, I somehow targeted that I wanted to give a GMAT in somewhere around May, and I joined okay. Verbal Hub in March. So approximately, yes. I had two months to improve upon my skill. Yes. So, well, so consistently, I try to, you know, uh, spare more three or four hours every day. I mean, okay. I used to come home after office around six or seven, and then I used to start practice and I practice till 12 or one o'clock in the, in the midnight. Okay. So I consistently did it for approximately two months and yeah, I reaped considerable benefit dividends. Uh, consistently for two months, right? Okay. Yeah, so yeah. Rishab, can you please tell us one thing that is... Uh, uh, you told us that consistency is key for success. That's correct. And if I talk about that apart from the job, because the job is definitely time to very difficult. Like, yeah. uh, how much time did you spend for verbal and con daily? Tell us about how much time you minimum time. What worked, actually, uh, what I did was that I identified all my weak points. I mean, okay. uh, if we talk about quant, I was weak in data, uh, data sufficiency questions. And if we talk about verbal, I mean, I was weak in verbal as a whole. So okay. basically what I did, if I practiced for three to four hours every day, I used to dedicate two and a half hours to verbal and one and one and a half okay. hours to quant every day. So like apart from jobs, spending four hours is a quite too much hectic. Like, uh, like, uh, yeah, like I got it. Yeah. And you are posting is like you are doing job in like Meghalaya, right? And you told yeah. me that there is some internet issue as well. Sometimes you are yeah. not able to join and then you watch the recording, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, exactly. okay. So and uh, is there any like uh, this time have you applied any different approach for a verbal part? Because as you find that GMAT in GMAT verbal is a quite hectic and a quite tough part. So, yeah. abhi kuch, uh, usme kuch strategy thi aapki jo aap suggest karna students ko? I'll say that uh, stick to standard books, basically, particularly Manhattan Prep. I mean, Manhattan. 
yeah i mean the level of questions it really matters i mean the more okay. good type of questions you practice from a standard book the more it helps actually and uh, basically you okay. have yeah you have to practice each and every concept every okay. day okay I mean, if you if you think that uh, okay you will somehow you have practiced one type of questions today and you will do it uh, i mean next week so mm-hmm. that is not going mm-hmm. to help actually i mean you have to that okay. basic, you have to be aware of the concepts okay Practice, that's good practice that's good so i mean you you you, t- you always told me you also told me that during your preparation that some uh, reading newspapers also like this yeah, yeah, yeah. a lot yeah. yeah that's okay ah so yeah that's one thing which i actually forgot <laughs> i mean i consistently read newspaper for like uh, you know actually it is already my habit i already read newspaper okay. i mean for like one or two hours every day okay so so rishab to be uh, yeah to be honest with you like as you got 750 right yeah 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 so uh, apart from a job like definitely like you are like you manage your both in a same platform right so and on a same track right two parallel tracks one one on a job and one on like the preparation so did you find any like hectic that getting uh, 750 for a job aspirant is like too much difficult or you find it like it can be done with a proper strategy proper consistency and all that it uh, did verbal have <laughs> help in that and can you suggest like that anything what i uh, actually i was uh, last time i gave gmat i scored 670 which wasn't good enough for me so yeah okay. so i went from scoring below 700 to scoring 750 just in a matter of two months after joining bubble two months yes so okay. i mean i wouldn't say that uh, two months is enough but what i would say is that with the right strategy i mean okay. even two to three months of time is sufficient because i was preparing okay. for gmat since long, you know since maybe november mm-hmm. or december Mm-hmm. but the point was that i was uh, not strategically preparing for it i mean what okay. verbal up gave me verbal up gave me a direction okay <laughs> that's good my dear that's good and uh, can you tell us about any particular strategy for for ir as i see, i have seen your score card that there are out of 8 points you got 7 points in ir right uh, yeah. what was your particular is there any particular strategy for ir actually i used to prepare for ir with the quant in tandem actually okay. uh, i used to take some questions for quant and then i used to take some questions from ir so what it did okay. it it solidified my concepts for both because almost the concept is almost the same in both of the uh, okay. I mean, both of the ir and in quant yeah. <laughs> that, that's great that's great my dear okay so uh, would you suggest anything like for upcoming students jo gmat ke liye preparation karna chahenge or uh, anything that like uh, कुछ सजेस्ट करना चाहेंगे उनको आप अपनी लाइक एज यू हैव ऑलरेडी डन अ लॉट ऑफ प्रिपरेशन फॉर जीमेट एंड डेफिनेटली यू गॉट इट और कुछ सजेस्ट करना चाहेंगे आपका मिक्स स्टूडेंट्स को व्हाट वन थिंग व्हिच आई वाज रियली कंफ्यूज्ड अबाउट वाज व्हाट द व्हाट इज द राइट टाइम टू गिव द एग्जाम सो आई गेस दैट मोस्ट ऑफ द एस्पिरेंट्स वुड बी कंफ्यूज्ड अबाउट द राइट आई मीन दे वुड वांट टू नो दैट व्हेन शुड आई टेक अप द एग्जाम आई मीन दे वुडंट फील मच कॉन्फिडेंट ओके सो what i would suggest is that that uh, you practice uh, from standard textbooks and then give yourself time to practice test series for at least one month and uh, give uh, as much test as you like so i yes. would suggest a minimum 15 to 20 test basically okay. because after giving one test you are completely exhausted okay, more than 3 hours spending on a test is quite exhausting okay so uh, what was your strategy for mock mock kya kaise de rahe the apne last month mein zyada diya ya aap consistent beech beech mein dete the mock ke liye aap kya kar rahe the actually i started in the last month basically i mean last i started month. in april yeah okay. i started in somewhere around mid april and okay and then i gave a mock test for uh, some stand- i followed some standard uh, material from experts global okay. and uh, kaplan test series okay so apart from that all the tests which are provided by verbal up so i completed verbal it up. over the span of one month okay and uh, so what i uh, that what made that's what made me confident actually i could gradually see my score progress from 700 to 740 that's good that's good. i mean you are seeing the like strategy like after seeing the score you got like there is like uh, progress uh, definitely positive progress in your uh, score and then you got like you should give for the gmat okay that's good my dear any suggestion for gmat uh, yeah over to say any suggestion for verbal of education from your side will you suggest anything for us like so that aap koi suggest karna chahenge ki sir aisa hai aisa hai and कुछ चेंजेस आप लाना चाहते हैं या आप कुछ और सजेस्ट करना चाहोगे को 
uh, see, personally, <laughs> everything that you guys did, it worked for me. So, no, on that okay. point, I mean, uh, that uh, the curriculum that you are following, I mean, it's perfect. Okay. It's perfect okay. for guys like us, actually, who can't spare, you know, some time. I mean, it's flexible. <laughs> it's quite flexible, actually.